Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making a video about the new Yu-Gi-Oh! anime and also the, giving my thoughts on the new Master Rule. So let's just start with the anime. The new anime is called Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. Okay, they did something similar with Arc 5, so I'll let, let that go. Second, they're going with a younger cast, even younger than Zexel, which was very unexpected to me. And the art style also changed, and it just looks too much like Buddy Fight. And coincidentally, our protagonist is named Yuga, which also has the same first name as our protagonist of Buddy Fight Ace, which is also Yuga. And then we got a blue hair looking best friend rival, which is also something similar that Buddy Fight also has as well. Luke Kamijo Tatsuhisa. He has a Dragon Ace monster, but strangely, it, it reveals a 2500 attack monster. Although, I do presume that he's not actually more of the best friend than the main rival, which I see this guy, Segetsu Gakuto, as the main rival. I mean, he's the student council president, full of himself, so I do see him as the main rival with the 3000 attack monster. Although, the trailer just makes them all look like a joke, so hopefully this anime doesn't show a bunch of constant episode that just feels like filler, like GX did. And Buddy Fight had the same issue as well, which I keep sleeping through Buddy Fight when I watch the anime as well. And then our main female lead, Kirishima Roman, which of course she's the good at sports type character and pretty much good at everything type character, wrapped in mystery. And based on the character so far, I could see potential in this Yu-Gi-Oh! series. I mean, don't judge from the art style, I could see a very good story. I could see, at least based on how the whole trailer looks, it's gonna look a lot more like a slice of life show, which does have potentially to be really good. Except that I could see the thoughts of many Yu-Gi-Oh! fans uh, liking darker stories, but I think this could be a good change and it could be a good theme for the show. It's similar to how in Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexo, I don't hate the show, but it was a very similar feeling at the beginning. People were just hating on it, going like, how did we go to this childish looking one after a dark story? And all I have to say to that is, maybe you should just watch th the show through. It could actually build up some. For this story, I could actually expect something like maybe a best friend turning evil. It's probably gonna happen. Or battling an evil corporation. And then we got Rush Duels. First off, the board looks a lot like Speed Duels. I don't really play Speed Duels, but then to me, Speed Duels are meant for to be simpler. But the way how they decided to do the rulings of Rush Duels, it makes it feel too much like Card Fight Vanguard. You can spam a bunch of monsters in one turn. Basically, you can just continue summoning monsters until you run out of them in your hand. Each turn you draw until you have 5 cards in your hand, so you have to make everything quick. And 3, the new card designs, the new borders, they look decent, I'm not gonna lie about that. I mean I like to see more artwork to the card, and I do like to see a change, although I will miss the old borders. But I do like to see more stars on, on the monster card. It's just me trying to be much more fancy, that's just me personally. Also, the blue eyes white dragon in the show. I guess this is also a very fan service like show showing a bunch of old past previous cards as well. Hopefully it's going to be from every Yu-Gi-Oh show. And then we got the new master rule where they're both going to be enacted both at April Fool's Day at 2020. So the new master rule update, it's not a new master rule ruling, it's actually a new update is now extra deck monsters can now be summoned to anywhere at the main monster zone along with the extra monster zone. Thank you. Now I can play DDDs in my fullest potential. I think this is how the rule should have been when Link monsters were introduced. Mainly because of all the decks that were introduced in Arc 5 that were all about spamming your extra deck. And I think this is one of the main reasons why they created Link monsters with the rulings this way is mainly because there was a bunch of extra deck spam but the real issue from what i see that was causing the extra deck spam was actually pendulums because pendulums was way too much like an engine mechanic you basically first off at the beginning of your turn you would probably destroy a bunch of cards in your pendulum zone put them in your extra deck reset your pendulum zones and then just summon back all those monsters to the field and then after that just do that every single turn every time they go back to the extra deck and you pretty much put no effort doing that. 
While Fusion Synchros and Exceeds still require you to put effort to summon more back. And two, well, they don't go back to the extra deck and get resummoned or anything. You have to put effort putting those cards back to the field. So I think this is actually a, a good ruling change where Fusion Synchro and Exceeds can be summoned at the main monster zone at any zone you choose on your side of the field while pendulums still have the restriction of either being summoned summoned to the extra monster zone if it's from the extra deck along with the zones where your link monsters point to and i mean the face up pendulum monsters in your extra deck if the monsters happen to be like pendulum synchros or exceeds you could still summon them to the main monster zone first if you first summon them from the extra deck normally but then what if you do a pendulum summon with them you have to put them in the extra monster zone or where a zone that link monster points to and link monsters are still valid and my DDDs are all back although it kind of devalues all those link monsters they had to make for all those decks that just needed to rely on their extra deck but at least now they don't need to like constantly make a bunch of link monsters and I think this is probably one of the reasons why they updated this rule allowing fusion synchros and exceeds to be summoned normally to the extra monster zone so Yay, DDDs in my fullest potential again. So hope you, you guys enjoyed the video and wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.